Number one home field advantage in college football over the last two decades has been right here at Memorial Stadium. Oklahoma and Iowa State ready to go. Oklahoma under Lincoln Riley, 16-1 in this stadium. Of course, the lone blemish the last time Iowa State came to town. You want to run right at them. First pass play. Hurts lets it go right before he's hit. In coverage. Lamb goes up and gets it. Touchdown, Oklahoma. between the tackles, but it's supposed to be built to stop this. Middle linebackers running behind. Those are two deep safeties. You're throwing into triple coverage, but that shows the kind of confidence. Here makes it first and goal from the A. They bring him in motion. Hertz takes it straight up the middle for the touchdown. And the Sooners making it look easy early on tonight. If you're C.D. Lamb, but you're going to be involved in this run game, and you're going to take that in. Zach Peterson out of the play. A nice job. You don't have to get perfect blocks. A Just true freshman that makes it look pretty easy. Here's the fastest receiver Iowa State's got, and Tariq Milton who can show off that speed. Down the sideline, touchdown. Important quick response from Iowa State as Milton goes 40 yards to get Iowa State on the board. Third down four. Hurts facing pressure. Lofting to the end zone. Jump ball and a touchdown. Trajan Bridges. The true freshman who hadn't had a catch over the last three games gets one here for a score. Yeah, what they Empty set for him here. Bringing pressure with Mike Rose who couldn't get there in time. It's Lamb hitting the accelerator, cutting it against the green, hurtling into the clear. There goes CeeDee Lamb. He gets a block. He gets inside the five. He is... I believe in. Can you believe it? He's in. Touchdown. Zone coverage here. C.D. Lamb sits down. We saw this earlier, and this is where you're just different, man. One, two, cut across the grain. Three, four. He did it against K-State a week ago. He's done it against just about everybody, and then he too got the grown man strength to go finish. All the way back to the 23. Paul's back in the game, taking the fake. Against pressure, wide open, man, that's a touchdown. It's Dylan Saner, first career score. The first and goal from inside the five. Paul into the backfield. They're running with his direction on the option play. Purdy keeps it untouched. Touchdown, Iowa State. The drive that they needed coming out of the break. Wow. I mean, you were down 14. Brooks has room off the left side. Gets a couple of blocks from Lamb, springing him free. Touchdown, Brooks with an assist from C.D. Lamb. In particular, watch the left guard come right out and seal Marcel Spears. That set up all that green grass, and then you talked about it, C.D. Lamb. That's not one, that's two. That is the difference, man. That is why these guys have accomplished what they have here. Stands tall, delivers to a wide open man. It's a touchdown. The local guy out of Jones High School to Sean Shaw Jr. And don't, I mean, my goodness, 335 left. Iowa State is within a touchdown. Hurts looking to throw on third and seven. He's retreating with Spears chasing him and he throws an interception. Lawrence White picks it off. And with 2.43 left to go, Iowa State's got it in Oklahoma territory. Would you believe this? Yes. Purdy scrambles. He'll tuck it, makes a move. He's going to get a first down. Brock Purdy making moves in the open field for 16. Four into the near nice. side of the field. On third and goal, Purdy lofting, end zone, Kohler, touchdown! They've come all the way back with 24 seconds. It's the Norman native, Charlie Kohler, with a touchdown. Purdy gets rid of it. That ball is picked off. Oklahoma will 
survive. <laughs> Lincoln, as they're moving down the field, you have this big lead. All of a sudden, now you got DBs getting banged up, cramping up. They're moving in. What's going through your mind as they're lining up for that two-point play? Well, I had confidence that we would stop it, uh, but you got to be ready to play. I mean, they're, they're a really good football team. We knew that coming in. Uh, we had some opportunities to put the game away, didn't do it, and we let, you know, let a really good football team stay in the game and made it, made it tough there at the end. Your defensive coordinator, Alex Grinch, was telling us about, hey, we could be better, but if we don't respond to adversity, it doesn't matter. What did you learn about your team today? Yeah, we responded some there, certainly at the end. We had some big stops, certainly throughout the game. We're not happy with how we finished, uh, you know, there, letting that game get, you know, a lot closer in our minds than it should have been. But it's November. you got to just try to find ways to win, and we did it today. All right, thanks, Coach. All right, thanks. CD, nobody ever questions this Oklahoma offense, but last week, last time out, the defense struggled. There was a lot of questions about it. What did you think about how they responded on that last two-point play? Man, they, they overcame a lot of adversity uh, going into the fourth quarter. Obviously, obviously, they made a great run um, in the last couple minutes of the game, but uh, they, they still firm and uh, they handled their business. You guys were rolling in the first half. It almost looked like at times – uh, six of eight on third downs. You guys were, were kind of, especially with what Jalen was doing on third downs, kind of breaking their heart every time. How did it feel from your side, and where did the momentum start to swing? I mean, uh, like I said, we got to make, we got to continue to make routine plays. Uh, we kind of fell off our horse a little bit, and uh, Iowa State took advantage of it. But uh, Jalen has did a great job of overcoming a lot of adversity. Uh, that's pretty much his overall game. That's what it was about. He's a guy, as he came from Alabama, it seems like he's almost never satisfied no matter how well he plays, no matter how well this offense plays. From your perspective, what has he brought to you guys as a leader? Consistency, man. Uh, he's a hard worker. And uh, in a quarterback position, that's kind of hard. And uh, he's been he's done a great job of keeping it up, uh, just being very consistent through uh, all week nine, uh, all nine weeks, I'm sorry. But uh, like I said, he's, he did a great job of leading us. All right, thanks, CD. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here from game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here college football on fox